Guys, Chad here from Random Reviews. We're going to be doing a, another review here on another camping chair. We know we just did one on the Alps Mountaineering King Kong chair. It was an 800 pound weight limit. This guy is the Coleman Oversized Quad Chair, 300 pound weight limit. And as I said in the Alps Mountaineering video, I'm always unsure about camping chairs because they always feel very unstable. I always feel like uh, I'm always concerned they're going to just break apart when you sit down on them. So I want to go over some of the features of this chair, the quality, and if I think it's a good buy. So this is a budget camping chair, guys. I paid 21 bucks for this thing. That is ridiculously cheap. And I'm very impressed so far with the quality. Um, we'll go ahead and just walk around the chair a little bit. Look at the seams. I mean, everything seems to be very well put together. Everything's very clean, very few, if any, loose edging uh, on the seams. I mean, there's, there's, there's nothing. There's a couple small little fray things right here you can just cut off real quick. But that's pretty nice, guys, for a budget chair. It has a little bit of a cushion at the bottom and a little bit of cushion on the back of the seat. As far as for uh, little features, you have a cup holder. You have a little baggie on the side that you can put chips, whatever you want. It's actually pretty large. But the neat feature on this thing is the cooler. So this cooler is big enough, it looks like, to fit maybe four or five cans of whatever beverage you are wanting. Soda, beer. Uh, how awesome is that? You can be sitting at your kid's baseball game, enjoying a nice cold drink, sitting on the beach, sitting uh, in the woods, wherever you're at. And that is an awesome feature, guys, especially considering the price. So let's go ahead and let's talk about sturdiness. I'm going to show you how easy it is to get up from. And let me adjust my camera just a little bit. Sorry, the camera's a little heavy. All right, don't go too far. All right, so here we go. So I am six foot 245. And for me, like I said, I'm always concerned about these chairs just breaking underneath me. This one feels good enough, I can always kind of plop down in it. One of my major complaints with the Alps Engineering King Kong chair was that it was so big, it's really designed for someone who's legitimately big and tall. We're talking 6'3", 6'4", or bigger, and you can go four, five, six, seven hundred 700 pounds if need be. That chair held an 800 pound weight limit. This chair is a 300 pound weight limit. And so for me, being 245, I feel sturdy in this chair. Doesn't feel like it's gonna bust. I grab my drink. Um, again, I'm very impressed with the quality of it. So can I get up from the chair without uh, needing these armrests? There you go. I think part of that is because the back of this chair actually holds you forward instead of being more of like a lounge, which I like and I dislike, to be honest with you. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, I do like having that upright position, but I think if I was out lounging around at the beach or something, I'd almost kind of want to kick back a little bit more. Of course, you can always slouch down in the chair and kick your feet up. Um, one nice thing is that the, the, the front of this chair does not pinch me in the back of the legs like the, like the King Kong chair did. Um, it does kind of still touch on the sides, but hey, you can't have everything. And for 21 bucks, I ain't complaining. So would I buy this chair again? You betcha. Would I recommend this chair to friends? Yes, indeed, I would. Um, again, 300 pound weight limit. I don't know how close to that you feel comfortable on going. Uh, me personally, I wouldn't have my brother sit in this chair, him being 350, just to be honest with you. I don't want the chair to bust. Um, but at 245, I definitely feel comfortable in this chair. So definitely recommend the Coleman Oversized Quad Chair. You can buy it all over the internet. They're all over the place. Um, you can find them in the stores. Um, don't spend over $35, $40. I spent 21 so look around, shop around. If you have any questions, sound off in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Chad.